the review that Variety gave us when we first went on the air in September of 1966. Star Trek won't work. What was your impetus for this project? What, where, where did it start? In November of last year, I approached Dad about the idea of doing a documentary on Spock as a part of the celebration of the anniversary of the original series. And the minute I suggested this to Dad, he was in. When word came out today that actor Leonard Nimoy had died, the president said, I love Spock. I started acting about eight years old and suddenly decided that I liked it enough to want to make a career of it, so I came to California in 1949. I loved Leonard. Leonard and I came from a lot of similar backgrounds. He was a multifaceted individual. He was never just Spock to me, even growing up. He had a ubiquitous curiosity about everything going on in the world. Prior to Star Trek, I never had a job that lasted longer than two weeks. Never, two weeks. People ask me what it was like living with Spock. And for the most part during that period, he'd come home at night, eat his dinner, memorize his lines, and then just go to sleep. He was trying so hard to get this career going. It took a toll on his family life. That he was occasionally Leonard-like, but mostly he was Spock. Everyone feels a little bit like an outsider. I would argue the most interesting people seem to. I think people recognize themselves in him. One of the things that I you know, really respect about um, your dad was his love and affection for the fans. to create a character who leaves a mark on the society that strikes a chord that resonates. Leonard Nimoy did that. Leonard was a self-made renaissance man. He made the world stand up and listen. Fascinating. If there was a word you would use to sum up or describe my dad, what would that be for you? Noble. Dignity. Artist. Integrity. Humble. The first word that does come to mind is loving. Love. It's definitely just love. I have been and always shall be your friend.